Up next, King 7 News at 5. Biblical news you can count on. With your anchors, Jim Bushmiller, bringing you the top biblical news of today. And Kim Bushmiller, bringing you insightful commentary and biblical trends. Our top story tonight, Adam and Eve were kicked out of the Garden of Eden. This is a surprising story today, Jim. Why yes, don't you it is, fill Kim. us in on the details? I would love to. According to the Bible, God placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden to take care of the garden and all of the animals. God told Adam and Eve that they could eat of any fruit they desired except one, which was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So according to the Bible, a serpent came along, which was Satan. And Satan deceived and tempted Eve into eating the forbidden fruit of the tree of knowledge and good and evil. Eve eventually took a bite of this forbidden fruit, and then she gave it to Adam to also partake of the fruit. Immediately after both of them took a bite of this forbidden fruit, they felt immediate shame, and they realized that they were naked for the first time in their lives. They then made clothing out of fig leaves and covered their private parts. And they hid from God because they were very ashamed. God, knowing that Adam and Eve had done the one thing that he instructed them not to do, came looking for Adam and Eve, and they were hiding from God. So now that God has entered the Garden of Eden, he has approached Adam and Eve and has told them that there's going to be consequences for this fall of man. The serpent itself would be slithering across the ground forever, eating dust. And Adam and Eve would now have to toil the ground and work for everything. So now also, Adam and Eve are kicked out of the Garden of Eden forever. Wow. And the tree of knowledge is now protected. God has placed a cherubim in front of the tree with a flaming sword to make sure that nobody returns to this tree. Boy, I hate to face that cherubim. Me too. We're going to break from our word from our sponsor. We'll return in 30 seconds. Do you feel depressed or discouraged in life? Do you feel disconnected from God? Do you feel like God is not hearing your prayers? Well, we have a solution for you. You need more prayer in your life. God's 411 prayer page offers you daily prayer. So let God speak into your life again with God's 411 Prayer Inspirational. Subscribe today. Just follow the link at the top of the page. Welcome back. There has been much controversy surrounding who is to blame for the fall of man. Many blame Eve, while many others blame Adam. Let's go to our roving reporters on the street to find out your opinions. All right, so we are out on the town and we ran into Johnny Be Good here. Yo, Johnny, yo, 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 yo. How do you feel about the fall of man? Do you feel like it's the blame of Eve or Adam? Hey, am I on camera right now? Yes, you are. Can I say hi to my mom? No, not right now. Okay. Sorry. So what was the question? We're in a hurry. Um, do you feel like it is Adam's fault or Eve's fault for the fall of man? Oh, dude, totally like Eve, man. You know, Eve was in the garden, right? And, and you know, she knew that there was one thing that she couldn't do. And you know what? Okay, so you get a little bit of temptation, right? Big deal. She fell and she totally caved in to eating that fruit and she knew she shouldn't do it. So man, totally dude, Eve's fault all the way. Now I know, okay, Mr. Johnny B. Good, if I was there and I was tempted by that little serpent dude, I would have gone, yo serpent dude, get away from me. And I know that I wouldn't have taken a bite of the fruit. So yeah, hands down dude, Eve's fault. Thank you, Johnny. Be good. 
Well, that was an interesting comment. That was very interesting. Very insightful. Yes. Now let us hear from the people who blame Adam for the fall of man. Well, I believe that Adam, being the man, should have stepped in and helped Eve. He should have stopped her. I believe that this is the first time that God has given us the choice of free will. And Adam should have stepped up as a man to say, you know what, Eve, I don't think that's a good idea because God said not to do it. But he didn't stand in. He actually took a bite with her. Thank you, Mrs. Righteous. Very insightful comments. We would like to know what you think. Do you blame Adam or do you blame Eve? Please comment below. All right, let's talk about this fashion that's going on right now because all of a sudden, Adam and Eve are naked. They need some clothes. They're ashamed. So Eve, being on top of her game, decides that she's going to make a fig leaf to cover all the important areas so that nobody can see. Now, this is, this is pretty fashion forward if you think about it because you could change the leaves for the seasons. So not only do you have green, you might have a little orange, you might have a little red, you might have a little flowers in the springtime. Eve knew what she was doing. That is a great point. Yes. You know, I'd like to see you in a fig leaf after the broadcast. <laughs> after this, buddy. <laughs> That's all the top news we have for you today. Thank you for joining us. Make mm -hmm. sure you join us next week for more biblical news. Stay connected, be bold, be blessed, and we will see you next time. God's 401.